Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best VPNs that you can start using right now to protect yourself from the future of quantum computing. Now, these are computers that are under research, and when they eventually start being used, they'll be able to crack the current security methods way quicker than our traditional standard computers that we use today. And if you want to find out more information about this, I recommend going to the NIST, National Institute for Standards and Technology website. This is the government organization that is working to develop the standards that we need right now in order to protect ourselves from these types of computers as they're being developed and as they're going to be available in the future. And if you're wondering why you might need to protect yourself from something that isn't even developed yet, well, there are two different reasons. The first is that it may happen sooner than you think. According to some industry experts, quantum computing is going to make the methods that we use right now to keep all our data and information safe, unsafe, by 2029. So in only a few years, the methods that we're using now are not going to be as effective as they once were. And on top of that, there are people right now that are doing something called Harvest Now Decrypt Later, which means that they're storing and keeping all the encrypted information, all that protected data, and just keeping it and holding on to it until the time comes, which may be very soon, that they're going to be able to use quantum computing in order to gain access to that information. So it's worth finding something that you can use right now that will keep your data safe even before quantum computing is readily and widely available. And one of the easiest ways to do that is probably going to be by using a VPN like this one over here, ExpressVPN. What this will do is make all information that you send out over the internet safe and secure, encrypting it even against methods that quantum computers will be using in the future. ExpressVPN updated their system initially in 2023, two years ago, in order to protect themselves against quantum threats. They did what's called post quantum protection. So their system is already protected now against threats that will only happen after quantum computing is available and after quantum computing will be able to crack our current security methods. They started this already in 2023 and just a few days ago, they upgraded to the MLKEM standard, which is the new standard approved by the NIST, the National Institute for Standards and Technology that I mentioned before. They approved a new standard, MLKEM, and that is even stronger than what was being used before, known as Kyber. But without getting into all that technical information, what you really have to know right now is that if you use ExpressVPN, all your data will be super secure, even from the threat of quantum computers in the future. Now, if you want to try out ExpressVPN for yourself or just find out more about it, there will be full in-depth reviews and some discount links for you in the description below. But there is another VPN that also recently began, including post-quantum protection, and that is NordVPN. They first started by releasing the post quantum protection in their Linux app, and now it's also reached their Windows app. So here in Windows, if we just go to the settings and then we go to connections, you will have an option for post quantum encryption. You can just turn it on and it will give you that added super security basically. But with NordVPN, it does come with some limitations because it can only be used with the NordLynx protocol over here. And the protocol is kind of how your computer uses the VPN to connect up to the VPN server. It's a big part of what gives you that security and also the speed of your VPN. And the post quantum protection, that added super protection, only works with the NordLynx protocol. So some features that are based on the open VPN protocol won't be available if you turn on post quantum encryption. So if we go and we try to turn it on, you'll see a message basically saying that dedicated IP, the open VPN protocol, and most notably here, obfuscated servers are all not going to be available if you're using the post quantum protection, because all of that is basically built off of the open VPN protocol here in the middle. And now with the post quantum encryption, we're using the Nord Lynx protocol. And I say that the obfuscated servers are the most notable here because these are really important when you're using a VPN. What they do is hide the fact that you're even using a VPN. So a lot of websites will try to detect that you're using a VPN and may block you if they see that you're using Using one. And that's why NordVPN has their obfuscated servers, which are special servers that use the OpenVPN protocol to hide the fact that you're even using a VPN. So if you want the post quantum support, you're going to have to give up on that benefit. On the other hand, with ExpressVPN is that they have their own protocol that they built themselves called Lightweight. And this is the one that has both the obfuscation 
and the post quantum support. So in one protocol itself, you can get both things. You can get obfuscation so you can hide the fact that you're even using a VPN and you can get that super security of the post quantum support. So personally, if you're looking for the best VPN for post quantum protection, keeping your data safe now and well into the future, I would definitely recommend ExpressVPN. Although if you are a NordVPN user, then you should know that you can get it there as well. And if you want to find out more about NordVPN, maybe you don't care about the obfuscated servers and you just like NordVPN. It is a really, really good VPN, a lot of very cool features. So I'll be sure to leave a full in-depth review and some discount links for NordVPN as well. You'll find all of that in the description below. That's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. This is a developing topic, something that is constantly being researched, and we should be seeing more and more updates going into the future. So I'm going to be following this story. I hope you found this useful as of now. Have an amazing day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.